What's going on? I'm Hans, and in this video I'll be covering part two of Qmetry's Automation API tutorials. Now, if you haven't checked out part one already, very strongly recommend that you go ahead and do so. There's a lot of information in that video regarding what our API is, how to use it, and how it best suits your needs, that without which you would not understand very well what's going on in this video. So please, please go check out that video first. Once you've checked out part one, head on over back here to part two, and we can get started with using, in this tutorial, the Jenkins plugin to import your test results to Qmetry Test Management for Jira. So, what we're going to go ahead and do right now is from this project selection screen, I'm going to go click on New Item. And then from here, you're going to want to select a freestyle project. Give it a name, I'll say test, it's convenient. And then click on OK. Now, here, this is a screen that many of you, if you're watching this video, have probably already seen, not very new to you. But I'm going to go ahead and walk through it anyways, and give it a project name, give it a short description. And from here, I'm going to move on over to source code management and choose git give it my repository. This is just the URL to whichever personal repository of yours you're trying to build. And then I'm going to pass it my necessary credentials. And from there, I'm just going to build the master branch. That's what I want. And just scroll down some more. None of this I need to, for my purposes, fill out. But if you see some of these fields, and you need to use them, go on ahead by all means. And now I'm going to add a build step. And I'm going to use Maven. So I'm going to go with Maven 3. I want to do a clean test. Now bear in mind that I'm only doing a clean test for my own purposes. If, there, if you're trying to build in another way, you can absolutely go ahead and do that. Now, from here, and this is the most important part, we're going to post build actions. We're going to add a post build action, and we're going to say publish the test result to Qmetry for Jira. And then we're going to select server. Now, from here, we got to offer a the automation API URL. We got to pass it our API key. Username and password are already entered for us. It's just the credentials that I'm using for Jenkins. And then the test result file path, which is a path to the file with the results we want to upload. And then the new test run name we want to give. And then the format of the file that I'm uploading. So I'm going to go ahead and fill those out. And then I'll come back to you through the power of editing. See you in a sec. All right. So I've gone ahead and filled out these fields. Passed in my, UR, uh, my API key, I'm sorry, I've given it the automation API URL for import results. And I've gone ahead and given it a test result file path and a new test run name that I want to give it. And I've specified that I'm using a JUnit XML file. So now I'm going to go ahead, after all this is done, hit save. Now I'm ready to build. I'm going to go ahead and hit build now. You'll see the progress bar here loading, showing that it's building right now. I can go ahead and click on the number here to watch the progress. You'll see that it's finished running in 7.6 seconds. So we can go ahead and check out the console output. And this is all the information that we get from the console when it's building. Virginia tests. Now, if we head back to the project. Okay, so just to quickly demonstrate the final results of our test, we have our test run right here in our Jira account. So you'll see here that we've got the issues in the test run from the JUnit test. You'll see that it passed. And we have our automation summary, just like in our previous video. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this automation summary. 
and you'll see it's just like we had in our previous video. All right, so one quick note I wanted to make before we end this video. Throughout this tutorial, I went ahead and created a brand new project. Now, if you wanted to work with an existing project, you could skip almost all of the steps that we went through and just go straight to post build actions and then go ahead and push your results to Qmetry Test Management for Jira from there. All right, so I hope you found this video insightful and learned a bit about how to use our Jenkins plugin in coordination with the Qmetry Automation API. And uh, thanks for watching and happy testing.